Well, hello everybody and welcome to this episode of G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And uh, we're out here on April, nope, May 15th, 2020. I almost lost a month there. I'm trying to go back. This uh, year's going by too fast. You re realize that next month we're already halfway through the year? Oh, geez. All right. These are the doors that are going to go on my pantry in there. And uh, like I said, I made one wider than the other. This one is 12 wide. That one's 15 and a half wide. I've got a 27 inch opening up on there or a requirement for 27 inches of total door. So uh, 27 and 5 eighths total. Um, across so anyway, this is the way to, to go. This is we're at the bottom here and Those would be the tops up there and uh, Yeah, I got the paint on them already They're uh, they'll dry overnight nice and uh, High gloss shine on them. They'll look really good. So I also uh, Found a bunch of uh, uh, These hinges and these are all self closers they're all the spring-loaded ones, but they were bronze-colored, and I wanted them black, so I spray-painted them all black, and I got all the screws stuck in here, and I spray-painted all the heads of the screws black, so they'll look good. And then black knobs, of course, on the pantry um, to go along with the uh, other black hardware. Now, these four knobs are white because these will go on the laundry um, cabinets, and I used white hinges on those, white doors, and I'll use white knobs on them. These are actually wooden knobs, and I just uh, uh, painted them. So, worked out great. Those are like uh, 79 cents a piece. Not a big deal. All right, let me turn this light on. Because, see these two pipes here? Well, my friend Andy and his son uh, Aaron... Uh, are the ones that gave me that uh, swing I've got outside, that that, that sit-down swing. And these were two pipes that go to the uh, cover or the canopy that goes over the top of it. They didn't have holes in them, and they didn't have tape on them. I did that, and I'm going to be painting these tomorrow. And what these are for, as you can see, they're pretty long, almost seven feet. And uh, what those are going to be for is... Doors that size will tend to want to warp and go out of shape. So, on the hinge sides, I'll have four hinges that'll hold this side straight. But that leaves this side weak and wanting, you know, with the temperatures and changes and all that, wanting to uh, warp and change. So... Those pipes will go on the inside of the, the door on the um, opening side, inside of the cabinet, and they'll, they'll start like three or four inches up from the bottom, three or four inches down from the top, and they'll be screwed into the door, so there'll be a steel pipe that's going to hold this door straight on this side so it can't warp. So I'll have one on this door, one on that door, just inside to where they come together. And you'll never see them except when you open the uh, doors. But uh, on the inside of one of these doors, probably this one, because it's so short, I'm going to have my broom and um, uh, dustpan hanging on the inside of that. And then on this one, I'll probably put spice racks on the inside of the door. So that I can just open up the door and get my spices and get those off the shelves that are in there. Give me a little bit more room. So that's uh, that was something I did today. Uh, besides going into town, checking mail and all of that stuff. Oh, and by the way, um, here's my roller. And you can see it's got some mud on it. And here's the bag that... Uh, was in the box and as you can see there's very little waste doing it this way so that's pretty cool I might have to do a little modification of it because the bag wants to slip on the wood so I'm, what I might do is I've got some uh, uh, rubber coating rubber paint coating 
and I may paint those with a rubber coating so that they get a little bit of a grip on the uh, the plastic when I'm rolling it through there. But other than that, it worked pretty good. And I just need to clean it up because I, I did use it. All right, this clear pine right here, uh, that piece and this piece, I'll be ripping this down uh, to the right sizes. And that's going to be the actual frame um, that those doors are going to mount on. Because what's in there is just, of course, two by threes. And uh, that's not going to look real real good with doors, nice, uh, smooth, glossy coated paint doors uh, hanging on a two by three. Uh, I've got paint left in the, uh, in the can here. I'll uh, be painting the frame after I install it inside. And uh, I don't know, probably another uh, day or two, maybe even Monday, I should have those doors hung and uh, looking pretty good. I'm going to show you inside what else I did today, but we'll head that way in a few seconds here. And my way down there, I'm going to tell you that uh, I also had to go in the garden today and uh, everything was pretty dry because the winds blew all night again last night. They were up in the 29 mile an hour, uh, 30 miles an hour. Well, you saw yesterday's video. That went on all through the night. And then this morning, I got up, and it was just like a, a 7 mile per hour wind. It was calm. And then all of a sudden, there was no wind. It was totally, totally calm. The uh, PMA up there wasn't moving at all. It was just sitting perfectly still. And I said, cool. I'm going to get some things done today. So I ran into town and uh, checked my mail, picked up a few things in the market, and came back, did three loads of laundry, got them in the dryer here, and uh, and dried those and folded them and put all that stuff away because uh, those winds have been gusting up in the 20s, high 20s and 30 miles an hour since last Sunday. So I didn't have time, well, actually last Saturday, I didn't have time to... Um, I do laundry on Sunday like I normally do, so I had to rush to because I had the calm today and I could get them on the dryer and don't have to worry about chasing them across the desert. So I got that all done to, uh, today and everything's all clean and put away. So cool, right? That's the way I look at it. So I just picked up a couple of things in the market, no, nothing really major, uh, just uh, some snacks. Uh, after dinner snacks, things like that. Okay, so the garden, everything was dried out over there, completely dried out. And the uh, even the mulberry trees looked like they were wilting, the leaves were wilting a little bit. So I had to go in there and um, I spent uh, almost two hours uh, plucking off uh, dead leaves off of plants and watering everything, soaking it up really good and, and drenching the fruit trees, uh, giving them a good deep soaking. Uh, everything was looking good down there. We'll do uh, a walk through there in another time, but not today. Uh, I got other things I have to do. While I'm out here, I forgot, um, when I was showing you drywall tools, specialty drywall tools, there was one tool that I skipped over, I forgot to uh, show you. And it's this little thing right here. And uh, you look at that and you say, well, what's that? Well, that is a circle cutter for drywall. This is a circle I cut out of drywall that um, the light above the old entrance going into the original cabin this was the uh, the size, the hole I needed to fit over that light fixture. So the way this works is you would find your center on your drywall where you want to make your hole and put a mark. Now you see I had a little cross right there. So this thing, you press it into the, the hole there and then you press down on it and the little roller cuts through the paper in a circle. Okay, so what I do then is I take a drywall screw and I shoot it through the drywall so that it gives me a mark on the other side of where I want to put my point. Then I go on the other side and I do the same thing. I run it around and I cut the paper. Okay, now this just cuts through the paper of the drywall. So the um, gypsum on the inside there is still holding it together. So you see this big nut here? Well, 
you don't really need a nut that big just to lock down a, a compass, right? Well, why did they make it that big? Well, I'll tell you. It becomes a hammer. And it's got a nice rounded edge on there, so you go around and you pound it around one side, then flip the drywall over and you pound it around the other side, and then this piece will fall right out of where it was. Pretty cool, huh? So this is a handy little tool. Uh, wallboard tool. Yeah, wallboard tool company. Uh, this is uh, this been around with, with me for a lot of years. I, I just got to say probably no less than 38 years. But I think they still sell them. And um, they are handy for cutting holes in drywall. So, got that done, right? So let's go inside and see what kind of laziness I had because today was a busy day, right? All right. Well, let's look. Oh, look at that. We got the windows all taped in and got the uh, first coat of mud on everything. We got the ceilings all taped in. We got the, the step down between the two uh, elevations of two different ceilings. Um... I got the metal trim in there and all taped and mudded and all the taping is all done. All the corners are all taped all the way around. That's where I cut that circle out of right there. So all the, everything is all taped all the way around all the windows. All these windows are all taped all the way around as you can see. And the, uh, the taping, the corners, everything, all the taping is done now. Now even this window, the inside sill, and the outer edge, and this has got a metal bead on it, so it'll come out nice and straight when it's all done and painted. But uh, yeah, all of the windows and all of the taping is done. So the hard part, the time-consuming part, is all done. Oh. And uh, tomorrow, when I'm done doing work inside there on the uh, uh, the doors and getting those done and getting the frames cut for this is where I was talking about where that clean pine is going because this is just a, a piece of two by three and that's an old piece of one by three that I had so I'm going to be putting the uh, framing over the top of that the two by four all the way around so it's got a nice looking um, clear pine frame and that'll be painted the same color of the doors so it'll it'll give it a finished cabinet look. And like I said, I'll have my uh, spice rack on the inside of this door because there is room in here. And then I'll be able to get all of these spices, all of those spices, all of that stuff will go on the inside of the door. So when I need spices, I just open up the one large door. There's my spice rack right here and get whatever spices I want. And that'll clear up the shelves so I have room to actually put food on the shelves instead of just having spicing on there. And then, uh, of course, up at the top there, I've got my extra paper plates and that. And uh, these cans of nuts and all that stuff will be going out of here. Those quick oats, uh, I opened those a while back. I've got a fresh one down here. But uh, those are going for chicken feed. And then, uh, of course, my, my Charmin up there. Six months worth of Charmin waiting for me up there. And, uh, yeah, so another thing I picked up at the market today was uh, some brown sugar. And I also picked up some uh, chocolate chips so I can uh, do some baking. I'll uh, probably make some chocolate chip cookies. Or another thing, well, this is a mess in here. I've got some bananas that I forgot sitting on the, ca on the table in there. And uh, they're starting to go to the black color. So they'll be just perfect to make some banana bread. And uh, I like banana bread. Especially uh, sometimes sit, sitting down at night and just having a hot cup of tea and some banana bread is just topping off just right. All right. So anyway, I'm uh, going to call this one a day and uh, shut this one down and get it posted. I'm sorry. I'm, it's already like going on 8 o'clock. I'm sorry I'm running so late on this. But I did do a lot of work today. I got a lot done, and I'm happy with that. And I'm probably going to sleep really well tonight. 
Of course, it's a little warmer than it has been. I've had all the windows closed at night because it's been getting down into low 50s at night out here. And uh, it's a little, with the winds blowing, the wind chill, just uh, a little chilly. All right, everybody. This is G-Bear reminding you that this is G-Bear. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. And I hope you subscribe if you haven't already. Picked up a couple of new ones. Welcome aboard, everybody. G-Bear signing off.